Hello everyone, I'm the Chromian Archer, and welcome to Project Zomboid Build 34. Uh, this was just pushed out on the I Will Back Up My Save branch, which you can find instructions on how to access on the Indie Stone forums if you're looking for that information. Um, this is the first part of Build 34, which is, I'm not sure how much of, the, if this is all the major functions already, or if they're just sort of rolling it out a little bit at a time, but the main things that come with this one are the nu nutrition system, that goes with the food, and they did a and a, they did a huge update in the um, appearance of the game, which I have only seen in screenshots so far because I'm literally firing this up for the first time for you guys. So I'm excited to dig in. Um, so we're gonna start a new game here. Uh, we'll do just a standard first week hardcore. <clears throat> we could do a custom sandbox, but this is the first time is always more about exploring the changes than showing off the hardest of the hardcore. So we'll do first week hardcore. <clears throat> we'll start in West Point. I'm not actually sure how well all these other maps will work anyway, so we're going to just start in West Point as per normal. Uh, let's randomize our character. Got Mr. William Smith here, who will now be C. Archer Smith. Um, the rest of that's final. They don't really like the purple jacket. Let's do the... Uh, should do a vest because it's going to be summertime, and let's go. Let's go black. See, it looks hardcore, right? There you go. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go into the next thing here. So this is the new bit here: nutritionist. Um, can see nutritional value of any food. Uh, so we're gonna have actually we have to take that. As far as I'm considered concerned, it has to be taken. I'm just gonna do a quick look through here, see if there's anything other thing, anything else different that I spot right away. Uh, I don't see anything. What about this one? Anything in the bad? Very underweight. Now that's new. Very low strength, low endurance, prone to injury. Unfit. I don't think I think that's underweight. So there's another one. Overweight has probably changed, I would imagine. Out of shape. Mm, I think that's it. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like the those things have, have uh, altered. <clears throat> so let's see, what can we do here? Um, let's start with start with a carpenter if we can. But I would like to add the things I usually like to have are thick skinned. We'll see if we can make this work. Stout. And I have to take Nutritionist because we have to see... To really get the most out of this system, we need to see it. So I need to come up with 14 points. So let's see. Um, slow healer is probably fine. High thirst usually isn't too bad. I'm going to try to avoid the sleepy traits. I usually take these sleepy traits, but... Um, I'm just not gonna, gonna try not to get them this time, so I need just two more points at least. Hemophobic is always a good one. Doesn't really affect anything except for... It says panic when not performing first stage on self, cannot perform it on others. But, you know, others don't matter in the single player game. <clears throat> so we take Slow Reader. Let's take Slow Reader and Hypochondriac to give us a few more points to play with. So we got five more points, what can we take? Athletic is too much. Can't take any of the six point ones. Gymnast is a five pointer. Light footed and nimble. Runner. I might take runner. I like the runner. Lucky. Eh, I don't feel like lucky is probably that helpful. Outdoorsman is always nice, so you don't have to worry about the rain. I'm gonna take runner. So we got a little bit more speed. This, I like the the idea behind this guy too. Is he's a he's a carpenter by trade, but on his on his off time, he's a nutritionist um, and a, and a amateur runner. <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna go with this. We still have one point to spend. There's no one point traits, right? No. Okay. All right. So let's go. Let's see. I'm excited to see this, um, especially the graphical updates. That's what I'm really super excited to see because I haven't seen any of that yet. All right, we're in. Oh, it's so much smoother looking. There's a lot less grain. Everything is a bit, bit more uh, 
clean. It's interesting. Oh, it's so weird. This is the at least the second time that they've done a major graphical update. If you go back and look, you can look at really old stuff. We're just looking to see what we have here. And uh, now, um, that's a lot of food in here. There's a freezer compartment, you can see. It holds the freezer stuff, which I'm guessing uh, ice cream now actually freezes <laughs> instead of being forever. Um, I'll go back and look at that in just a second, but I just want to see what's in the house first. Alright, just a lot of stuff here. Wow, it's going to take some some getting used to to use this, uh, to get used to this new look. Nothing in there. Alright, so let's look at the food. Farming for beginners, I will take... Let's look at the food. So, we got in the thing, we got the banana, which says... Hunger negative, negative 17, that's standard, but it says calories 105, carbohydrates 26.95, protein 1.29, fat 0 0.39, whereas beef jerky is like all calories and a little bit of carbohydrates. Wow, this is like, it's like min max or central right here. <laughs> you just do whatever you, you can go crazy with this stuff. Um, Ice cream is mostly calories, some carbohydrates, fat, and protein. All right. So I'm going to take this tote bag as a secondary. So we have a bag with us. I need something I can use as a weapon. Are you not going to have any kind of weapon here, huh? No. All right. Well, I'm going to plan on staying in this house for the uh, time being. I didn't notice this guy had this scruff on his face. That's kind of ugly, actually. Yeah, so the... Graphical stuff has definitely changed. It's so weird. Fall down, please. There we go. Right, that zombie's dead. Let's actually rip that uh, vest up into sheets. Or rip into, like, sheet stuff. Where am I? Am I, am I close to the... I think I'm close to the school. Like, yeah? Yeah, the school's just right there. Okay. Now I know where we are. Thing in the chest. Garbage bag. Garbage bag. Technically, you can use a pencil as a, as a weapon, but, um... Not a very... It's not a very good one. The sheet. The TV's on. I should probably turn that off. Oh, I should take those tweezers. Tweezers are helpful. Oops. There we go. Alright, come on. Frying pan, there we go. That's an excellent uh, starter weapon. Got a saucepan, that's new. Peanut butter. Mac and cheese. Take the cooking pot. I'm gonna probably skip over most of the dry goods for the moment. So much stuff. I need this water bottle though. All right, so let's take all of this, or if we can, take as much of it as we can anyways. Freezer has frozen ice cream and pie. We should probably take that immediately back to our house. Can't imagine your kitchen knife. I'll hold on to that too. Can't imagine you can travel super far without, uh, with frozen items. Sheet. Skirt and underwear. All right. So let's take this immediately back to our house. Deal with this uh, zombie here first. Excuse me, madam. You're in my way. Of the items, of the weapons you might find in the first few moments of the game, the... the uh... whatever the hell that's called. <laughs> Frying pan! There's the word. This is my favorite. Personal, it's a personal preference, but it's the one I like. And I'm just gonna put all the food in the refrigerator for now. Makes it easier to find. Now, when they were talking about this system originally, they were talking about it as something that you don't really need to worry about that much unless you're like a, a long-term survivor. But I wonder if that's still if that's true or if they changed that over the production of this game. Of this update. Also, let's look at this. Is there some place where we can see our weight? 
Health overall is okay. I don't know. Electrical maintenance, maintenance. Do, 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 do. Nothing new there. Yes, I see you, zombie. Alright, so. They're all scattered about right now. There's a lot of. I'm surprised at the number of houses that have uh, unlocked doors on them. It's un uncommon. That's a big box. Ooh, a lighter. Carpentry for intermediates, I will take. Advanced trapping, I don't care about that book. Man, so different looking. It looks good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about the new look. It's very good. But it's just, it's kind of just striking. Having spent years with this game, to suddenly look at it and see different things on screen, it's kind of... It takes me aback a little bit, as you can imagine. <laughs> Crate. Nothing in it. This has nothing useful in it. They redid the lighting system as well, which you may or may not be able to tell. I can't really tell that much, but still pretty cool. All right, let's head into the... Since the... the the school is likely to be some place that we will not be able to get into in the near future as the zombie population builds up. Let's head in there now. Alright. Um, there's- whoa! Hello! That's a- that's a different thing. Couldn't see her because she was standing next to the window. Please die. Thank you. Is this going to be unlocked? It is unlocked. I don't know what's up with all the unlocked doors. So first place I'm going to head to actually is going to be upstairs. There is a maintenance closet upstairs, which could potentially have good stuff in it. It's right over here, I think. Look how shiny that is. It looks so much better when you're zoomed in super close like this than it did before. Screws this. Pool cue is a weapon, but it's never been one I like. Crowbar, on the other hand, is a usable weapon. Yeah, we can work. We can run with the crowbar. Really, you guys did the you did, you did the update, but you didn't change the models. You didn't increase the models for the things. Okay, you would, I would have thought they would have done more weapons models. Oh, school bag. That's excellent. Take this too. All right, so let's check this place out. Hammer. I will absolutely take that. Electrical wire is probably not that important. Cooking for intermediates, I will take. It's getting a little overheated. Cooking for beginners and carpentry for beginners. Excellent. I love those books. Although, don't I start because I'm a carpenter? Yeah, I start with a third. Carpentry for beginners is useless to me because I start three levels in. <laughs> two, two, three ammo. <laughs> and a pistol. I always think it's funny when we find uh, guns at school. I feel like that's our good uh, European developers, Indie Stone, uh, making a little commentary on the United States. <laughs> Which, if it is, it's fair, whatever. It's probably not. They're probably just, you know, just the way random loot tables work. But I still think it's funny. God, that's a lot of food. Come on. Take it all. Thing in the freezer? Frozen pizza. Alright, we're getting a little overloaded. That can probably easily be remedied by taking all of this and moving it over here, though. And then getting rid of the bag. Oh no, didn't quite fix it. What am I? Oh, it's because I have this. Let's pour this out. Yep, that fixed it. 
so that bag is full now. All right, so we should consider going home, I guess. But I don't want to. I don't want to miss out on my chance to find some good stuff up here. It's just bathrooms. So we will be. Come on. Ah, getting stuck on the geometry. Basketball. Some of these haven't been updated. Like the pants icon definitely has not been updated yet. Comic books. Comic books are good. They have a lot of. They give a lot of um, bonus. Also, school bag. I should take a second school bag is better than a. Um, than carrying around a tote bag. Unequip. Uh, equip secondary. And drop this tote bag on the ground. Sheets. This, this, this all can go in the second bag. All right. Cube. All right. Let's see. Anything good in here? Walkie talkies would not be terrible for their use as um, radios. Not going to be useful as walkie talkies because we have nobody to talk to. But. I'll leave that comic book. We've got two comic books already, and I don't really use them very much. They're just kind of um, something I like to have around. Thing in this desk. These desks all have things in them, by the way, but I very rarely actually check the school desks because they're not super useful, and it takes a very long time. All right. All right, some over here. Golf club, nails, shotgun shells I required by law to take. It's in the bylaws. You can go look it up for yourself if you want. All right. Nails. Duct tape I should take for repairing items. Seeds. To think about where we really want to live this time around. All right, one more, one more. Because the place where we're living, where we're, where we're currently existing, is not sustainable long term. Um, it's too close, too close to the. Oh, that's not where I want to run. It's too close to the rest of the world, and will be quickly overrun by zombies. So it's not a long term solution. But it should work in the short term. This is a closet, right? Yes. With well, nothing useful in it. Oh, we got some shells, though. Now we need a shotgun to go with them. Yeah, these are just locker rooms. There's never anything useful in locker rooms. But yeah, we need to think about where we want to live. I'm thinking Twiggies, maybe? Twiggies might not be a terrible option. It's a bar nearby. So orange soda now says lots of calories, carbohydrates, and nothing else good. Because, you know, soda's not good for you. <laughs> I wish I had a can sitting next to me or I would pop it. Orange light bulb. Alright, I'm gonna I wanna take this. I wanna see if we can. There's something you can do with light now. I think you can actually change the light levels, but I should take that whiskey bottle. Um, I'll come back for more of this stuff later. I'm just checking to see if there's anything random that uh, absolutely needs to come with us right now. But I don't think there will be. No, I don't see anything. That, this door goes to the outside, I think. Yep. Which is good, because now we can come in and out that way. Old crowbar to the face. I think the animations are a little smoother. Maybe it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if it's just a trick. Uh, a trick where they they look smoother because the, um, just because the system, the, the models around them, like the the textures look smoother. I don't know. Could go either way. Oh, that was a bad swing. Come on, fall down, dude. 
Yeah, I'm thinking Twiggies. Twiggies. I'm feeling Twiggies this time. I feel like it's a good it's a good spot. It's a little outside of town. So it shouldn't be too terrible with zombie populations, but it's close to downtown. So we'll start thinking about that. I feel like I can zoom in closer now too. I may I feel like like there was the most, but I could just be another situation of it just being a figment of my imagination. This is the house we were in. Please just die. Alright. Now we gotta deal with this lady. She's too close. You're too close. You should stay 500 feet back from the house, please. Painkillers. Those are worth taking. Oh, I said worth taking. There we go. Alright, so what do we need to put away here? Anything that's frozen first. Which, didn't we find a frozen pizza somewhere? Did I not take it? I must not have taken it with us. Alright, well, let's go back in here. Cabbage, butter, bread, chicken, corn dog, lettuce, meat, mutton, pizza. Oh, the pizza was frozen, but now it's fresh. So I wonder if you can store it. I guess you could probably store things for longer, huh? If you put them in their freezer. Things you don't intend to eat right away. That seems likely. Let's eat a... I'm gonna eat a pickle here in a second. As soon as he's done doing this. Eat a pickle. So yeah, so there's all this information, but there doesn't seem to be any place to look at your health information. I guess you wouldn't, would you? You don't really have the ability to do that. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, that's all the normal stuff. Alright, well, um, I'm excited to play Build 34, and I hope you're excited to play it with me. I'll uh, see you guys later. If you um, enjoyed it, please leave me a like. Helps me out a great deal. And consider uh, subscribing if you haven't done that already. And I'll see you later. Thanks so much.